that the oxidation number of nitrogen uh, in this uh, in this case is x so x minus 6 we can say that x minus 6 will be equal to minus 1 because the statement says that the oxidation number of uh, the, the oxidation numbers of all elements add up to the charge on the ion so x minus 6 is equal to minus 1 so x will be equal to minus 1 plus 6 which will be equal to 5 plus 5 remember the sign when when we, when we are talking about oxidation numbers the sign is very important so the oxidation number of of the nitrogen of nitrogen in this in this in this polyatomic ion must be plus 5 because plus 5 minus 6 when i add all the oxidation numbers together i get minus 1 which is the charge on the polyatomic ion so now um, uh, we are done with this rule as well the more electronegative uh, element is given the negative oxidation number in compounds or ions so for example you have a compound which is um, icl3 now we know that chlorine is more electronegative compared to iodine and as chlorine is more electronegative compared to iodine chlorine will be given the negative charge so this will have a negative one charge then minus one into three so so the overall charge the overall char charge on this molecule will be zero first we need to see that the overall charge on this molecule will be equal to zero and and um, th this means that the oxidation states of all the elements should add up to zero so minus one into three is equal to minus three this will be the total oxidation state contributed by the by by chlorine so let's say that the oxidation number of iodine is x in this compound so x minus 3 should be equal to 0 yeah x minus 3 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 3 and therefore the oxidation state of iodine in this case is plus 3 so that's how we figure out oxidation states now we have done oxidations the rules for oxidation states you need to remember all these these are 10 golden rules for oxidation states you can never go wrong with them once you've memorized them okay so now redox reactions and oxidation numbers now oxidation is an increase in the oxidation number as you know reduction is a decrease in the oxidation number an oxidizing agent is a substance that oxidizes another substance and is reduced itself a reducing agent is a substance that reduces another substance and is oxidized itself so to make this more easier for you let's take again the example of c 2 cu plus o2 giving us 2 cuo yeah so this is an example we are taking in this case now what what happens is that uh, we know that the copper is getting oxidized because the oxidation state of copper is plus 2 the oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2 so the copper is getting oxidized 0 over here 0 over here the the oxygen the copper is getting oxidized the oxygen is getting reduced so as the copper is getting oxidized it what it is doing is that it is reducing the oxygen it is reducing the oxygen and itself it is getting oxidized so in this case copper acts as a reducing agent because it reduces the other substance the substance it is reacting with and itself it is oxidized so copper is the reducing agent in this case on the other hand oxygen is the oxidizing agent in this case oxygen is the oxidizing agent in this case because uh, oxygen is oxidizing copper oxygen gas is oxidizing copper and uh, and itself it is getting reduced right o2 itself is getting reduced so that's why copper is the reducing agent and o2 is the oxidizing agent in this case now naming compounds using oxidation numbers so this is very easy actually now uh, if we have copper oxide which is cuo then we write then we name it as copper 2 oxide because the oxidation state of copper is plus 2 so that's why we put 2 in brackets if the ox so a copper as copper as you know it has two oxidation states which is cu plus and cu2 plus these are the two oxidation states of copper plus 1 and plus 2 so if we have cu2o where we are using cu plus instead of cu2 plus the name of this compound becomes copper 1 oxide copper 1 oxide 
Yeah. Now, this is because so this tells us that if 